Shadow IT, sometimes referred to as Shadow Cloud and less commonly known as Business Managed IT. What is it and why is it a risk for a business? Well, it's not always a risk and we'll get to that in a moment. But essentially, Shadow IT is any tool or system that is not managed or supported directly by the IT department. Now that's a little bit of a broad statement and I'll cover that off in a moment. But what it is referring to is anything that the business might be using or a company might be using to run that the IT department or the IT supplier aren't directly supporting. The reason why I say it's a little bit broad is that there are some tools that technology don't want to be supporting or shouldn't be supporting. Uh, financial and accounting packages and payroll, uh, not a main strength of technology, so why would you want your IT department to be looking after those? In that case, it's not bad to have it as shadow IT or to have it managed within the business, uh, but what is important is the data. In the context of this conversation, I'm using data as a very broad term to describe all the information a company may hold. Uh, whether it be about an employee or a customer or about the business itself. Now, every company holds data in some format. It may not be in a completely structured database, and I'm not going to get into the details of the benefits of, of that today, uh, but it will be held somewhere. And in an ideal state, all the systems that a company uses should be integrated to that data. They should be consuming and providing data into that source and from that source. What that means is that you don't then end up duplicating information about a critical resource. It, it, you don't want to have two sources of truth about your customer. You don't want to have too many places where files are stored. What shadow IT results in is the risk of secondary and duplicated sources of data. So in the example I've got here, a company who had approved OneDrive for file storage and for sharing of information uh, was starting to see Google Drive and Dropbox come in as people preferred those as a tool. Now, because the t company was using OneDrive, they may not have been aware of what was happening over in Google Drive or Dropbox. So information may be leaked or lost as a result of that. Uh, but it can also be seen with the CRM, particularly with the customer re uh, relationship management tool, where a company approved CRM is bypassed by someone because they don't want to put information in, they don't want a deal to be stolen, they don't want customers to be poached from them. So suddenly you're getting into the situation where you've got two very different data sets being managed and maintained, one that the company may not even have visibility of. Which raises the question of how do you prevent shadow IT from occurring in a business? And the simple answer is you don't. You manage it. That's not to say that the technology department should be managing every single system a business uses. Uh, I'll use some examples before with payroll and with CRM, which are line of business specific, aren't what the technology team would normally be familiar with. So why would you burden them with managing that? What you do want to, to ensure happens is that the data that those tools consume and provide is integrated with your existing databases, your data structure, if you're managing it correctly, if you've integrated it correctly, you will not be duplicating data. You're reducing the risk that shadow IT presents on a business. Just like the lake behind me, software and any system can look pretty calm on the surface, but you don't know what lies beneath. You don't want to just dive in without having at least explored what the system can do for you. Otherwise, you could run aground or you could get tangled in the weeds. You don't need to have your IT department or your IT team support every single system you use, but they should be involved in the selection and they should be involved in making sure the data is well managed, well secured and well maintained. That's all for this week. If you do have a topic you want me to explore in a future video, please leave it in the comments below or send me a direct message. Thank you all and have a great week.